this is Whipple of actually Woo! giving credit to that pick. Wow. It is going to be the Lucian, so he's going to go super aggressive. I thought it was going to be the Camille, which he was hovering. Instead, it will be Lucian. This is something you can... To your point, yeah. Maybe hard to get something done. A little bit of poke coming back and forth. Uh, e start and Guardian. They're going for the level two first as the minions come down. They're gonna find a bit of a trade. Good damage on Ezreal. Jumps well, away from it and the kill is in already. Han Sama's on the board and Vulcan's gotta run away. Oh my God, he didn't even need it. He didn't even need a flash in there. I thought he was just gonna try to flash right on top and finish him off. Vulcan though, in trouble as well. And yeah, it was just a level two. He had Easy. to push it in. That is massive for TL. Here we go. Attempt number one, inspired. Oh, nice wraparound. It's over it. And the last little bit of Mega Nars, not going to find much of a stun. Just a trade of damage. And now trading his health bar down to try to make Whipple killable. And E up soon. Flashes in for the slow. And now flashing with the minions means you cannot Sonic wave this one. Does the Q land? He trades heavily into this one. Gets the sidestep. Goes for the impatient throw, doesn't land it, and Whippo find the 1v2. Yeah, that was really well played by Whippo. It's actually so important. Not only they chunked out Impact initially, so that Impact couldn't go for an aggressive chase down, knowing he could be counter killed, and also how he played that, how he stops in the minion wave to get a lot of damage on Inspired. Yeah, nearby, but no, nah, uh, I'm, I'm piecing out to my bottom side. I got Wolves up in a second, so uh, gonna have to play that one around. Good sidestep. There we go, pulled into the root. A lot of upfront damage, and Hansama could be chased, and Danny gets the fourth shot and knocks him down. Health bar low, taunt in the mid lane. We got more fights going on here. Lee Sin is in, a flash is out. Bjergsen gonna stay alive, but Santorin knocks one down. Gets a trade back across the map, but now at 200 health. Yo, really well done by him. TL, yes, they did die in that bot side, but EG had the later reset in that bot lane. So TL came down, push out the wave. They utilized they his flash. He has just been kind of farming evenly with Impact, Ooh. which is really good, but they're gonna go aggressive on Danny. No flash. flash. for the slow, he can't get one himself. Ult's gonna land, they don't quite, oh. yes they do! Have the damage, cannot sidestep the Mystic. Now it's plate after plate after plate falling. You know, Impact has been getting shoved in, so this is one of my concerns with EG's draft, is we were talking about at the start of the game, it's like, where can Inspired play through? It's really just mid lane. They went there once, and they actually lost the 2v2. Oh, then they didn't feel mid lane like anymore, so... Inspire is actually getting wrapped on. He might face check here. He's in trouble. Jump in. Centaur gets kicked forward. So in the middle of the enemy team, but it's going to be enough for him. Flashes finds a knockup. Galio on the way, and that fight is over. Doesn't even get almost any attacks from the Berserk, and now they would like to find a bit more. Vulcan burns a stopwatch, and there's enough reinforcement for the no re-engage. So EG will live. Culling not quite in range either. Actually, oh. zero <laughs> damage Culling. Kind of rough for EG because it does just feel like they're bleeding out in all lanes. I mean, you look at the marksman completions. I'm sure that Danny is sitting on some gold. But able to find a TP flank, you've got to be able to get something going with that. But as we see the observers on the toggle, there's not a lot of vision here. Oh. Look how slow Actually, it is. It hits core, but who cares? As we walk in the front line, Centaurin takes the kill 1v3. And that's going to be an ulti out of several as well. We get the taunt for a bit, but well, CC, they can't get much more done. Bjergsen doesn't find a second kill, but mid lane under fire will find a tower. And that, that's what I'm talking about, where you need setup for the Renata. Let's turn it down. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely going to be going down here. We can see it's CDR boots here for Han, so a lot of options. He could just be using the call fields to build in towards his Mythic. I think it's, it's also Death Dance, theoretically, that was what I was going to say, because I do think, you know, speaking about what you were talking about, there's so much physical damage here. You know, largely, it's, it's unlikely for Ryze to be able to, to get much down on him, so Death Dance does feel pretty darn efficient. Um, but it could just be Cloth Armor early, finish your Mythic, then go into Frozen Heart. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of options there. Even GA would make some degree of sense. Totally, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, whatever. Kind of do what you That's want. kind of Ezreal, right? You yeah, can really like... just build anything, and people are like, huh, that well, could work. Right, it turns out that he doesn't really scale off attack speed and crit very much, oh, so yeah, it's like, right? So everything is, is like, at least 80% offensively efficient. And just you just kind of tailor Skip the redemption, there. Ezreal. Skip the redemption, Ezreal. Yeah, yeah, I think we, you know, we, we <laughs> drop off those ones. I don't think he needs to lock it. You know, it's not a Senna or anything, so, you know, hop off that one. But okay. yeah. Uh, a lot of, lot of, wants lot to of try tools. to play through sides, right? You have Gnar Rise. You could potentially go into that 1-3-1 one, one style style of, of kind of setup. Um, but they are getting pushed so heavily elsewhere on the map. You know, Impact is finally... And just slowly chip away here. Shield up Han, send him forward. Bjergsen's just really zoning, and they get out the TP, so now they just have to retreat. Gonna try a nice kick, though, onto the whole squad, and it's gonna be a frontline attempt, but they're putting a bunch of damage. The money is down. Danny is gone. Is the team fight gonna be good enough that a second kill comes through? Thanks to Jojo Piano, we've got signs of life. Root onto Bjergsen, pulled right back in. A nice handshake they and a nice Baron. bit of clap. Yes, here comes the Baron. Multiple kills. They're gonna get the Baron. There was objective bounties active, and they took some kill bounties as well. And EG just took what was a 6,000 even, looking for that poke. And as Bjergsen goes for the dive, they lose track of where Inspired is. They have no wards on that Ooh. side. The kick flash there on to Hansama. He is knocked in. The Renata ulti comes across, CCing up multiple people. 
Danny with the Jin ult hitting him from that back line. They had the setup, they closed the gap, they get the root for an additional kill as well. And now EG, you know, they're yeah. right back in it. Yes, it is soul point for TL, but if they can take down this tower, stave off that soul, get that next dragon for themselves, they've got a real fighting I'll chance. Up that way, so Beard's gonna mark him, get him over the wall, nicely done. Good ward sees that one Centron front lining. Here comes the Berserk, gonna hit two. Ezra can't do damage though through the ultimate, but that's gonna time out eventually. And now we're onto the map. True Shot Barrage gonna land for a bit of damage on a Vulcan. A couple of ults traded back and forth. Now is it gonna be enough now? Just buy time for Hansama to poke. TL don't need to start this up, but instead they get too close and... Gore Drinker buys some time. A Centaur without an ult, he just goes down. Danny finds one, 5v4, EG. Have a lot of control, but Meganar has timed out. One fewer ultimate now available. Fourth shot, or third shot comes through, I should say. And now, once again, onto the dragon. They could burst this, they could time it with the smite. Danny on the fourth shot, get it down to 1k. There you go. God, he's finally running backwards now, but Leeson should get behind him. They know Blue Drinker popped. There we go. Jump towards the wall. Pushed in. Rooted in place. No way to live this one. And that is a deletion. He had the Spidey set. it right now. I'm not sure this might's going to be back up in time. Lee Sin Q. Easy clap. Lee Sin Q. We've had it before. Might do it again here. That's looking. On the Dragon. Looking for the play. Impact going to be marked out here. Will be claimed. Dragon Soul on. But now Impact looking for a bit more. Shows Bjergsen into his wall. Jojo Pion is on the way out. And they do anything about it. They're TPing in here. Double TP coming in. No Smite on They have to peel back. There's no way you can coin flip because the coin is on heads on both sides. Right now, it's going to be a look forward. No slow on a Centaur. Though he's going to be all right with this one. And nothing else happening. An attempt at Baron, the fourth TP to get out. Yeah, that's a great start, though. Very low risk. And they get double TP there. Impact oh. trying to go aggressive now, though. Can they get anything more? Or is squishy, so it gets dropped to about 40%. Now on the front line, force the ulti out of the jungler. As Bjergsen's still going to be recalling a TP back in. Shoved in the wall yet again. Stopwatch now burn afterwards. But this could be a very easy kill in Sinjao. Gordrigger, a root. Bjergsen. They need the last few shots. They don't find the kill. He's and Bjergsen's black. back in. Going to root in for one. Rise does find the first one. I think Death's Dance claimed that kill for him. And now they get a chase down. Sorota slow onto Vulcan. Vulcan flashes the wall, stays alive for now. Running past their blue buff. But the reinforcements have arrived. A kill on a blue. Hans I gotta be safe enough. And will they find the rest of Flash Todd? That's gonna be JoJo. You have to believe he's gonna die for that one. Flash is down. The health bar should be following. And he's gonna get bailed out, but he will not find the kill. Shutdown goes through to Buepo. And now you have still to. Still moving think. forward. Jin has gotten, I believe, to his third item by now. Can't quite kill the ward for Buepo, but. Mega's down now. That's pretty important. Meganar is down. And now a big shot comes in. The charm coming across. It will hit the squad, but is it enough? Renato Glass is down. The dive on in. Whipple will not fall just yet. In goes Lee Sin. Tries to find a bit more. Ulti's on. Gallagher up now there as well. GA is down. Is it going to be enough as Lee Sin jumps the wall, still drops down? Two kills picked up. And TL, they bide their time, but they get two for nothing. Yeah, and EG's trying to retreat, but oh, Bjergsen's in. going to be a lot. The knockups are in. Realm Warp can't get him to safety. And they're going to chase for a bit more. Score today still providing movement speed. A flank TP to make it sure this will indeed be the ace. All five will die. Will they get anything back, though? And Megan are into the wall. The shield is big. They will not find those kills. Five for nothing, Team Lick with the Bud Light Ace. And Bwipo is pushing in. They're looking to end the game here. He's got the wave prep. He's going for the inhibitor towers here. TL playing it slow, playing it smart, not allowing EG to ever really have a shot after that one small mistake, playing it so methodically down the stretch. And they're going to get at least this inhibitor. We've got 30 seconds on rise, 30 on NAR. They're going they for the base end. right now. 5v3 at the worst. Vulcan goes for a little bit of poke, finds a stun. They get inspired, but is it really even going to matter? Honestly, the Karma Shield can do everything that Lee Sin can. Just press R plus E, and you got the entire champion in your pocket. So, TL walking away. One turret down. Middle under fire. Nah, right back in. Let's go for it yet again. JJ Bun still down for 10. The same for Impact. And now we go to Nexus turret number two. Diving on in. Lee Sin gets himself a kick. Abilities and damage, but it's not going to matter. Danny running away. A little bit of health left on him. And finally, the kills start coming through. Danny drops down one on the board for Whippo. Nexus falls. Team Liquid stay in first place. Really nicely played game there.